Yeah, we've got we've got cut out by whoever interrupted the party. I'm not whoever, but we got cut out a bit short, yes. Aeroplane crash landed. Pre-ejaculation. It's the feeling that best describes Belgian artist aeroplane set at establishment last Saturday. It had the ingredients of a great night out, with Aeroplane's new disco remixes guaranteeing good vibes, evident by the cool cats of KL cramming establishment like tuna in a can, fucking bathing in body sweat with a sauna-like conditions. But like pre-ejaculation, the party was too much stimulation for DBKL, making the crowd leave prematurely before Vito was able to climax with his best tunes. Establishment resident collective Dear Society were probably the most disappointed but were champ enough to take positives from the night. Hi. Hello. We're Dear Society. Dear yeah. Society, Alex. What's up, Paris? Tonight was a great flight. Aeroplane took us to heights that we've never known before. But it crash landed thanks to DBKL. We had about, what, four, five hundred people tonight. Yeah. It was a great turnout, obviously. I mean, I think people were expecting a lot of uh, a lot of stuff from Aeroplane. He has produced like, quite a lot of hits uh, that we, we, we know about and uh, I think a lot of people know about. I think I think it's slightly disappointed that it didn't, didn't like, sort of end it. I mean, if you were to tell me that two years ago that Aeroplane was going to come to KL, we wouldn't fucking believe it. Because he's like, oh, idols, I guess, yeah. Yeah? yeah? He's been churning out some fucking great hits and he's been like uncovering like great bands like uh, Oliver, mm. a bunch of shitload of other new, cool new disco acts. So yeah. it's an honor to actually to be on the same stage as Aeroplane. We got to talk to the man himself, how he felt being rudely interrupted and about the current state of the electronic genre. No, t- tonight was tonight was definitely a good gig. It's what I would call a good gig. People were people were really into it, and and if I could finish my set, I think it would have been even bigger because I was about to play my biggest hit. On the current state of electronic music, globally, um, electronic music is is pretty much the only music around right now. There's still a lot of rock and there's still a lot of things like that, but the first slots in in the charts are taken by electronic music, which I believe is a good thing. I mean, it got it got really big, you know. The the US when the US got involved into um into the whole thing, it, you know, mo- a lot of money got involved, like Skrillex, David Guetta, Avicii. All those guys brought a lot of money to the table, and so it's a good thing and a bad thing because it's a good thing because now we can you know all export ourselves to the United States and make a living out of our music. And on the other side, it's a bad thing because that's all people want to hear. The cool kids of KL are definitely hoping for a second date with the Belgian artist to finish what he started. I uh, just like to say, uh, on behalf of this, I uh, DB Gale. But that's how it is, that's how it is, you know. Uh, that's how Gale rolls. Kuala Loco. Kuala Loco. <laughs> I'm gonna go to jail, thanks to you. Yeah, exactly.